Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I got this old used gun, and the old used gun I got today is this guy. The Beretta 950 in 22 short, known as the Mix. Now it says Beretta on one side of it over here, and it's got the Beretta Target logo on there. And then over here on this side, it says the 22 short mix right there. Okay? And it's got the big Beretta logo here. Now, this is the original 950. Uh, the original 950 came in 22 long rifle, 22 short, and 25 ACP. Uh, the 25 ACP was called the Jetfire. The 22 short was called the mix, and I'm not sure what the terminology was or name that they put on the uh, 22 long rifle version. Uh, the frames are the same, the 22 long rifle version. What they did was they shortened the inside of the magazine to make it 22 short. It has the uh, ubiquitous tip-up tip tip barrel like you find on all the Beretta smaller guns all the way up to, I think, the Cougar 380 had, was the biggest one they made with a tip-up barrel. Um, and it's just a little, cute little gun. Uh, it's rather dubious little gun, just to tell you the truth. I mean, it's a handy little gun at close range. You can hit things with it. Um, I've got a 15-inch diameter shooting C down there at 10 yards. I'm going to try and hit it with it. See how it actually shoots. But, you know, it's a 22 short. It's got no muzzle energy to speak of. Uh, no real wounding power to speak of. No incapacitation power to speak of. But they've sold millions of them. You know, people just get it in their mind that, well, that's enough. I've got a gun. That's all I need. You know, so they buy this little gun because it's handy in the pocket, handy in the purse. You know, fits right in a lady's handbag, goes right in a gentleman's pocket, you know, and, and suit pocket and so forth. And you've got a little gun that gives you enough. The fact that you've got one is apparently enough for people. So we're going to load this guy up. It's a standard single action only automatic pistol. Half cock on this gun is your only safety. It doesn't have any other safety on it other than the half cock position of the hammer. And there we go. Okay, let's load her up. We've got it loaded up in the top. And we load us up a magazine. Magazine holds six. You got one in the barrel for a total of seven. And let's see how it shootifies at 10 yards. Cock that guy. Lay it up down here and see if we can hit something with it with these little bitty pinching fly shooter sights. Uh, yeah or no? I'm trying. Really, I am. Well, it's not a bad group forming up down there. Is that it? Okay, is that it? Apparently, that's it. Okay. Now, you got to manually drop the hammer to half cock to make it safe. And that's it. Uh, we'll go down here and look at the ack attacker scene. Go down here and try and take a magazine out of this thing. Really? All right, there we go. Barrel's tipped up. We know it's showing clear. Uh, they've made millions of this gun, and they've made updates and improvements over the years. Uh, they still make it. As far as I know, they still make the little uh, mix, and you can even get it in a stainless. It has an external safety on it. The new ones do. Um, value of this gun is somewhere around 
today, in today's market, this gun still commands $400. I think these sold for about 100 bucks when I was a teenager, new. Uh, and now they're up around $400. And this is a complete, this is a, I believe this is a pre-1968 one. Because it has no importation marks on it whatsoever. Uh, I can't find any importer's mark on it at all. Uh, after 1968, um, you know, you had to have an importation license in order to bring these things in, and you had to mark them with your, with your business logo or marking, um, and like that. And as a matter of fact, it got there for a while where you couldn't import this kind of a gun at all. You know, nothing. And then... In the early 1970s, they started loosening up on it a little bit, but you had to, it had to say enter arms or, you know, something like that on there where you'd have imported this gun legally. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, a little 22 short. Uh, it's not much of a gun. Let's go down there and look at the ACK attack and see, see how it actually shoots at 10 yards. Think about it is at 10 yards. I don't think a 22 short from a from a three inch barrel pistol has enough moxie left in it to actually hurt anybody real bad. But, got one flyer out there in a nice little group. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, it actually does shoot straight. If you were in a defensive situation and had the time to acquire those little sights and, and the time and inclination actually to aim at somebody with it, and, and try and get a useful hit, but uh, you know, it uh, it satis satisfies some people that you know they're satisfied with just having a gun. And if that's all you need, you know, this is probably your gun. Well, not much you can say about this little guy. Um, it does shoot and it does work and. I think it's a pre-1968 import, which makes it pretty old, you know, uh, 68, 78, 88, 98, 2008, 2018, it's 50 years old, if, or if it's a day old. So, you know, does it still work after 50 years? Yeah. Does it get shot much? No. No. The, uh, there's not much bluing wear on this gun at all. It's in probably 90 to 95 percent condition uh, and works, and today it's worth about 400 bucks. You know, and there's some people who want $500 for them at retail in this condition with no box or papers or nothing. Uh, does it work? Yeah, it's a mouse gun. Uh, is it a good defensive gun? No. Good target gun? No. Good recreational shooter? No. But uh, it does work, and it is a gun. Well, that's about the size of it. Like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door. And if you don't want to do that, I'll keep dredging up old guns, and we'll come out here and shoot them. All right, then. We'll see y'all.